Real YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's up? My name is Fragments of Memory, aka the Armchair Philosopher. Another video response to Test Tizzle. You might know him as the Ghetto Serrano. Anyway, I wanted to respond to his vid racial profiling and the white people who deny it. And he was just talking about, he was relaying an incident where he was looking at some. He noticed across the street with his friends, he was chilling, kicking it with his friends, and the police officers were stopping these black guys. And then all of a sudden, the police officers grabbed him and his boys and started questioning him like he was the guilty party, yet they were not with the guys that were being initially questioned. Questioned. <clears throat> you made a very good point. Number one, a black president doesn't automatically change the hearts of the nation's citizens. And I don't think that the president per se is catering to white people. You have to you have to look at it from this perspective. Barack Obama is the president of America. He is not the president of black America or the president of white America. He is the president of all of America. And that's one. So I just because a black man is in office doesn't mean he's going to do you any favors. I did a video called My Skin Folk Ain't Necessarily My Kin Folk. And this was not bashing black people. This was just my video pointing out, look, just because someone wears the same skin as you doesn't necessarily mean they have the, your same interests at heart. Now, I myself have, have endured with the police. In fact, I did a video about it called Me and the Police. And one of the things I discuss is that I've been stopped by the police. I've been questioned. I've been talked to like I was guilty, and I tried to be as polite as I could because they're still authority figures, but I've had to endure being racially profiled. <clears throat> now, when I was a little boy, my mother told me, well, I wouldn't say little boy, but I would say I was in the tween age, you know, about 12 or 13. And my mother said to me, my son, you have one strike against you. You are black. She said, I have one strike against me. I am a black male. And because you are a black male, you are already a suspect. No matter what happens, no matter what goes down, you are a suspect. I've been stopped by the police, black, white, and sometimes the black ones are worse than the white ones. Let's keep it real. And I know every time you hear the story, the police says, hey, did... Did you know, you hear the same story, you know, hey, we've been having problems in the area. We've been having burglaries in the area. Um, and you just happen to fit the description. And of course, me being me, I always ask the question, would I have been suspect if I were a white person? And I ask myself that question all the time. And again, it would be great, great to live in a society that you were judged by the content of your character instead of the color of your skin. But I realize this country has a lot of growing up to do. This country has a lot of racial baggage. Let me let me put it to you again. We got a lot of racial and ethnic baggage. And people don't want to admit they're racist. Some people want to pretend like race don't exist at all. And I would agree with um, Tess Tizzle on this. And this is something that I, maybe I've thought about this is if you are a target, and this is especially to my black men, my black brothers, if, if you know you're a target in this society, why do the things that get you locked up? Like if you're a dude that's out here slaying it or trying to get your little hustle on and everything. And I understand it's hard to do right in, in any situation. But if you understand that you are a target by law enforcement, just by you, the nature of what color you were born. Because two people that were of the same color got together. Those two people happened to be your parents. And they made you. And now here you come. Here you are. And you have no control of what race you are born. And you come and you walk down these streets and then you get busted. And you know that that you are already, you have a strike against you just for being born the color you are. Why then go get involved in activities or hang with people who are involved in activities that are not good? And yes, I will agree. Nothing against white people, but white people cannot relate to things like racial profiling. 
And and I and I will agree with you that in dealing with white people, discussions about racial profiling are going to be fruitless with them simply on the grounds that they don't experience it. They have something known as white privilege. They are privileged to not have to deal with certain things. In fact, I would recommend you go to you you Google this name, Peggy McIntosh. It's called Unpacking the Knapsack, and she talks about different ways about how she's privileged as a white lady. Um, there's this comedian known as Louis C.K., and Louis C.K. did a um, he did a stand up where he talks about how he says if we had to vote on being white, I'd vote every year just to okay, let me pick white again. He says you can't even offend me. I'm a white guy, and I've probably brought this up before. So white privilege is prevalent. This doesn't mean I hate white people. It just means I understand that as a black man, I'm already seen in a certain way. I could have 10 degrees behind my name. I would still be considered a nigga in this society. I already know that. I'm not bitter. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm a little frustrated by it, but I understand what's up. So... Test Tizzle, man, just just keep your head up, dude. You know, this is here's another from one black man to another. Just keep your head up, man. That's all I gotta say. And for anyone who watches this video, rate, subscribe, make your comments. Uh, take care. Be easy like Sunday morning.